Hello, and welcome to another episode of A Ghost in the Magazine. I'm Al. I'm Nathan. And today we are talking about, you know, I think one of my mother's, one of our mother's favorite movies, which is Dracula 2000. Uh, I can see why she liked it. I think that the religious aspects appeal to her. Yeah. I mean, and I think that they would which... for some people. <laughs> And she likes all that shit. So she likes like uh I know what she did last summer and scream and all that stuff, which is kind of where I'd fit this into. Yeah, like in the late nineties, early two thousands, uh horror. Yeah, which I mean, I got that vibe from this movie. You it aged very unwell. I don't <laughs> okay, so in the credits alone, I saw two rapists immediately. We have Danny Masterson <laughs> and then Harvey Weinstein, of course. I didn't even see one. You know, I saw Masters and I was like, gross. Yeah. He's just, he's a greasy boy, no matter what role he plays anyway. Like, he's got bad vibes to begin with. But we've also got Dr. Foreman from House, and uh, this is fucking Sparta as Dracula. Yeah. I did recognize the guy from House. I was like, oh shit. You know, he's kind of like a minor but yeah i was like oh shit that's the guy from house i didn't remember his name but then you know the big slubs both him and danny masterson were part of this gang that was going in to do a heist so it was kind of like a heist movie which i also think was very hot in the time period but it was also gerard butler as dracula in the thing that they are heisting which this doesn't look like gerard butler Throughout most of the oh. movie. It looks like a glitching AI Jeff Goldblum dressed as Chris Angel Mind Freak. That's what it looked like to me. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I didn't even... Like, at the very end of the movie, I was like, oh shit, that's Gerard Butler. <laughs> like, it was like You know what I realized? I like, <laughs> when I realized it was him was when I looked it up on IMDb afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was like... I, I thought Gerard Butler was in this movie. I was like, oh... Mm-hmm. He's a fucking Dracula. But he just is like a generic dude. I don't know. Yeah. And he's like fucking shirtless for half the movie too. And I mean, he's not bad shape or anything, but he's not like, he's not 300. I, that's like the only Gerard Butler movie I've really seen. So. Yeah. I feel like I've seen him in other things, but I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. He's just, <laughs> just like one of those guys. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> the dracula for me and i have watched so many dracula adaptations and some of them are really boring and some of them are really just like the book done over again just like again and again which gets really (laughs) not fun to watch but i really wanted to like this because they took it to a different time period they were trying to tell us a little bit of a different story but it was just so badly done (laughs) Just... Yeah, I mean, if one thing you got to give them is original take on Dracula. I mean. Yeah, it's it's original. <laughs> it's fucking corny. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's kind of fucking dumb, but you know, at least they tried. At least they tried, like, yeah. And this was a Wes Craven movie, which um, always. Yeah, because you were saying it reminded you of Scream and stuff, and it's like, yeah. yep, that's really this time period of. <laughs> I think that the premise is cool, right? That Van Helsing used leeches to stay alive for over a century to try to figure out how to kill Dracula under the guise of this, like, antiques collector. And he's, like, trying to gather old tools and information and, like, try to figure out a way to kill this bitch that he's keeping in a coffin and is safe before these guys come and try to heist it. If they're guarding something heavily, it has to be, you know, very expensive. That's, that was the logic behind heisting it. They didn't do any research on it. They're just like, hey, you know, <laughs> they're putting a lot of money to guarding this. So, yeah, must be you know, something good. What if it was like some kind of like biological agent that he was keeping? <laughs> I mean, or... he's a fucking weird old man. Like, yeah. What did you expect? Dude? It could have been like that episode of Trailer Park Boys. Here we go. <laughs> where they think that there's uh, expensive stuff in the safe at Sam Lasco's uh, dentist clinic, and they find out it's just his mom's old uh, nasty teeth. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, 
It was kind of the equivalent of that. <laughs> kind of was. <laughs> Except it for was, the like, teeth old... bite. <laughs> yeah. For Tash Charles Butler. Who fucking just like looks at women and they let him bite them and I mean I know Dracula's like supposed to be seductive. That was that was a twist. This was also <laughs> just like the most uncomfortably straight Dracula that I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, he didn't really know. Yeah, he didn't really have any bisexual no. <laughs> He's just like uh, I like chicks. <laughs> Dracula as a, as is a, a friend would say king. chicks on dicks. <laughs> chicks yeah. on dicks. Dracula's a bisexual <laughs> king. Okay. I feel like vampires are bisexual okay <laughs> oh yeah at the very least and the fact that this old man is sitting here lestat wanted to bang old men like multiple times lestat wanted to bang old men this old man is sitting here like eating leeches or like doing something with these leeches that came off of his body enough to get blood in him that when he nutted in some lady it made a baby that was partially yeah. dracula's blood and Dracula wants to fuck the baby that is no, blood of no. his blood, but he doesn't want to fuck the old man. That doesn't make any I, sense to me. Like, fuck the old man, Dracula. Was Anne Rice, like, really into this movie? It's, like, the New Orleans setting, right? the uh, the banging and the air scene. That was reminiscent. <laughs> yeah. Um, wanting to bang your old family. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> all, the, all the Anne Rice things. I feel like I, I actually had to check because I was like, I wonder if this and uh, Queen of the Damned came out. Queen of the Damned was two years later, but I feel and like I feel like maybe they they the, the writers talked to each other or maybe like somebody had read some Anne Rice because, yeah, as soon as I saw New Orleans, I was like, they're at least nodding to her. They have to be. Seems to be all the vampires hang. <laughs> and the thing about the banging is, is when he's like, "Oh, uh, I want to fuck my my daughter through this other man." Uh, I was like, "Okay, that that tracks," because Dracula's an aristocrat, and aristocrats are like notorious cousin fuckers, right? But Dracula's not actually Count Dracula, the aristocrat. He is. Judas is Iscariot. Yeah, that was a weird twist too. <laughs> Which, like, I oh my gosh, there's so many things wrong. The Judas is Iscariot thing is like fucking Icarus with wings made out of corn cobs flying too close to the sun, so they explode into popcorn. It is the corniest fucking shit I've ever heard. It's also like wildly entertaining, but I feel like it it panders to like the like weird like uh religiously uh traumatized people like i don't understand fully how he became a vampire if he, like to go back to that like he hung himself and it was like a curse or something like i don't understand i i like, have to jump to the end with this this one because i've got to say something about the ending and the hanging and all that stuff it's oh, like okay yeah. so oh, the way that the ending explains it is that the reason he's a Dracula is because he tried to hang himself or no they hung him and he didn't like die right he the rope snapped so first of all you're saying and then god was like now you're cursed to live on earth as a vampire or whatever so you're saying that in the end when he stays hung because he's on a on a metal wire hanging off of the most like potato Jesus looking Jesus up on the cross, right? Um, he's hanging off of a building and he finally catches on fire. And it's like, God is finally taking, why? Why are you telling me that if there were modern building supplies back in the time of Judas Iscariot, he would have never been a vampire? Um, like, <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> Uh, did God just change his mind all of a sudden? Why? Like, I didn't see a character arc in him. He was still just eating people and being horny. Like, that's, it's not yeah. changed. <laughs> I just don't I mean, get it. That, that confused me too. You know, I guess they said that he might not have been fully killed, but it's like, I just remember Helsing and saying he tried everything to kill him in the beginning. And it's like, dude, you didn't like put him in the sunlight at all. <laughs> 
<laughs> you didn't <laughs> you didn't hang him from a potato Jesus looking cross like <laughs> yeah I just, the whole thing was just very confusing also I, after watching Renfield I have to say uh Van Helsing like got a shitty deal he ate I'm guessing he ate the leeches like that's gotta be how you do it because like how else are you getting that blood out of them they're not just gonna give it up so i'm guessing he's like eating leeches or something and you know renfield he eats bugs and he gets to like have jackie chan uh powers and also live forever you know and he's an old man that lives forever but he's also a hundred years old and his bones are made of glass and as soon as he actually comes up against this guy yeah he dies immediately basically he's fucked, yeah <laughs> he gets his head and pill or whatever he's like <laughs> under the bed too i don't know how that worked but then there was a uh, fucking leech going in that masterson's eye when he opened up the coffin that was fucking dumb yeah like that was the leech that was the most memorable leech seen to me it's like dude how the fuck do you get shit on your face like i don't know <laughs> everyone just seemed really dumb in this movie Simon guy was kind of annoying too. It's yeah, like, he was kind of boring and British. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> Even though it did set the good line, you Brits like to sweet talk. You Brits like to romance. All I like to do is suck. That was a, a <laughs> line that was told to him by the lady vampire. Which I just have everyone as a lady vampire because I don't remember. I think one of them was Lucy's friend. Mm-hmm. And one, one of them, them was oh. Lucy. Okay, so Lucy Westerman is the analog for Lucy Westenra, and uh, that's Mary's friend, Mary, okay, Mary who is, is an analog yeah. for Mina. And then there was the reporter, who's played by Jerry oh. Ryan, who is like a famous like she was on Star Trek. That's who I know who she is. But I think she was like famous with like she dated some like metal guy. I don't remember. Um, well, I in this movie. <laughs> and then there was um there was a third lady uh who was she i i, I totally forgot about this. see that like just shows how much attention i was able to pay to this movie i can't <laughs> I remember now got. i noticed i kept looking at the time and be like how much longer, <laughs> longer. dude i did that especially <laughs> in the end i kept pausing it to see where i was at because i was like God damn it. How much more could they possibly say here? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, there's Selena, too, who was the, like, assistant in the first place. Okay, there we go. Yeah, vampire, yeah. She hung around till the end. I don't really remember what happened to Dr. House's friend. I remember he tried to attack him. Mm-hmm. And did he die there? I think. I think I guess, because so. I don't remember him being back again. Yeah. <laughs> He I had a really I, corny line too. He's like something about a brother being like thirsty or something. <laughs> it was really dumb. Oh my gosh! Like I don't know, dude. Once again, you can say it's original. That's like what it had going for it, you know. The killer soundtrack. Maybe, yeah, <laughs> killer soundtrack. Uh, Lincoln Park was the first yep. was song. I go to that, so. And then, like, the Power dialogue. Man 5000, and... <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I didn't recognize, like, most of the songs, but, yeah, I would assume it would be, like, Power Man 5000. I didn't that. either, but I thought they were all Rob Zombie cover bands, like, they paid somebody to rip off Rob Zombie, because that's what it sounded like to Basically. me. And then I looked it up, and it was, like, actually a bunch of different bands, and I was like, ooh, crap. <laughs> I guess I just don't know my new metal well <laughs> enough. I don't know. I wanted to like this, because, like I said, it's I... <laughs> a different take. I wa- I have watched so many, like, remakes of Nosferatu, or just, like, Dracula beat by beat, like, the same thing in the book. And uh, I-, I liked that they took it to a different time period. I liked that they... Uh, made mina somebody that was like related to van helsing through a weird way related to dracula as well (laughs) but like dracula being a new metal david blaine it just it didn't work for me he was wearing the long leather trench coat it was very matrix neo once again it's just like age bad it's like at that time i was probably like the most badass thing was to be like a new metal like 
guy. This is like great value, uh, Queen of the Damned, and that's sad because <laughs> this was the <laughs> this came out two years before it, and it and the Queen of the Damned was not a good movie. Yeah, I've never seen it because isn't that like that's a long movie, isn't it? I think oh, I, thought... I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm just not. See, the thing is, it's it's a bad movie, but I like it. I like it. <laughs> I like it more than I like the Mayfair Witches uh, series. I like it better than some Anne Rice property, you know. So, like, yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't for <laughs> Brad Pitt's Louis, I probably would like it better than the other one, just because. I love Aaliyah as Akasha. I think that that's like one of the best casting choices they ever made in any of those. But let me see how long it is. I, I will give this. Like, I honestly might like this better than the uh, Maker Witches uh, series. <laughs> but <laughs> it's an hour forty four, so it's right around the same. Okay, I th- I think I get everything confused with uh, what's that other movie? Mommy's have uh, Salem's Lot. It's like oh yeah, Salem's Lot was originally a tv movie and it was done in two things so i think it's like four oh, hours it's like fucking it was <laughs> okay yeah I, yeah i think i just like associate everything with that i think all these movies are like three hours i'm like eh. yeah okay so queen of the dams an hour 44 dracula 2000 is an hour 39 an interview with the vampires two hours and two minutes I mean, I will give Dracula that. It's an hour thirty nine, still a bit long, but you know, for you what it is, you could shave off the nine minutes. Like, at yeah, least do a, exactly. just do a, a solid hour and a half. I'm sure. Like, you know, tattoo. They they got it right about an hour twenty. That's as long as you can go with like weird shit. This is not like crazy weird shit like that, but it's weird shit. I mean, yeah, I think it's like a fan fit kind of. It kind of yeah. I honestly, I think if they took the Judas thing out, which sucks because I guess that's their original lore, I might like it better. But it was just such a corny turn that I was like laughing. I couldn't help it. I was just like <laughs> sitting there laughing at it. I was like, "You're fucking with me, bro." Yeah, that was very. I don't know. I mean, they probably thought it was like gonna be mind blowing, but it. Yeah, that's what it felt like. It felt like a tool fan, like explaining. <laughs> lateralism or something <laughs> like why it's mind-blowing it's like when did uh the six cents come out that i think this was asked that like at that time like everything had to have you know like some crazy twist so maybe they're like yeah know, we have to compete with him i shall now though so. <laughs> you are odd nathan because the six cents was 1999 so it was the year before this and it was probably <laughs> yeah, in production well that was like a hit movie i would bet yeah they were probably like oh shit we gotta have the twist we gotta have something <laughs> we gotta have you know some... gerard this... butler being dracula was enough so. <laughs> I think that Gerard Butler being Dracula and also not recognizable as Gerard Butler it should have been <laughs> enough, you know? Exactly. I mean, uh, dude, I gotta... When, is, when was 300 out? I gotta know when that... That had to have been, like, oh, like mid-10,000s, mid right? 2006? Like wow, a... I thought that was... I thought this was earlier than that, I guess... No, uh, yeah, that was like around when I was in like middle school stuff or junior high. So, or I guess yeah. high school shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I thought, I thought it <laughs> okay, was. Yeah, that was. Yeah, because it was like such a like monoculture thing. Like the that meme was like everywhere. Yeah. Everyone was talking about that dumbass movie. Yeah. See, he's like in like all those like London has fallen. Yeah. I've never yeah. seen those plane like. I I don't know if I've really seen any movies he's been in other than Oh, he was fan of the opera. Yeah, <laughs> so I was like, I haven't seen that. But that was like two thousand and four, so that's pre three hundred but post Dracula two thousand, so <laughs> Yeah, that was like right when he was in the sweet spot. See, yeah, I don't know if I've like seen another movie he's been in. <laughs> so other than three hundred. That could be why 
I didn't know he looked so different. This movie, like, it doesn't, the ending doesn't make sense. The The beginning premise is so good, but then we just keep getting more and more in Hinge. I honestly, like, the heist thing is actually not even bad. Like, and I don't like heist movies. And again, I think they were in vogue in this time period, and that's why they went that way. I don't I don't particularly like them. I I will say that the gore aspect, the Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, where it's booby trapped and it takes out a couple of them. I I don't understand, I guess, why Van Helsing is like literally just a, an old man with glass bones that has to say, "Please, Mr. Dracula, don't haunt me." You know, like that's his only defense it seems like because he immediately takes the like weird gun thing from him and is like, "Fuck you, bitch." Dracula is like really OP in this movie like he fucked like everything up and then I guess he just got hung. Like, <laughs> yeah, he just got hung, and then sunlight, and then she has to keep his ashes locked down. But like, you can't put leeches on ashes, so either she's gonna have to bang and have a kid. Did the nerd last? Yeah. Oh shit! They're probably gonna bang. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure because he like had him like tied up and stuff, and then they were like wanting her to bite him, and then. Oh yeah. It's attacked him, yeah. I don't remember exactly how it happened. <laughs> yeah, she faked him out. I remember that. And then like Dracula's so surprised that she uh didn't fall for his shit. Well, doesn't it make sense that she wouldn't if she had the same genetics or whatever and you you knew what, you know, spiritually what these tricks are from this boy? You wouldn't be so susceptible to them. I guess regular women can't help but just let him bite them, but... Yeah, because he's so hot, you know, with his open shirt. But, I mean, she did let him bite her. It's just that he forgave her and released her at the end. (laughs) Yes, I like this better than Mayfair. You're right about that. And I like this better than Ginger Dead Man versus the Evil Bong. I like this better than Bad Moon. I, hell, I probably like this better than the OG Evil Bong. It's not, it's not like well, dog yeah, shit. Long. It's just not a good movie. Yeah, I mean, it can like come off as a movie, which I don't know. I would say that about a uh, Evil Bong. That seemed like a like shitty sketch someone made from YouTube or something. True. Yeah. Which, I guess I think that's where you. Like a lot of full moon movies have gone is straight to YouTube. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, are you already... talking about Baby Oopsie too? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which we have to cover sometime in the future yeah. because so I love the first one. I was gonna say I definitely liked Baby Oopsie better than this. <laughs> oh yeah, it was. I don't know. At least that was fun. Like... Mm-hmm kind of wasn't really fun or interesting <laughs> i mean i think if they again if they edited a bunch of shit out um they took out the judas is thing because it's just so stupid although i do, i will say it did make me laugh so i don't know yeah. maybe they could have made it yeah. maybe they could have leaned into the corniness a little bit more i don't know yeah but... i don't know i don't think i don't think they're going for laughs i think they're going for gas you know I do. <laughs> I think you're right Back. there. Yep. <laughs> I guess I get why God would say, no, you can't come to heaven or whatever, but you'd think he would just send him to hell and like leaving him there on earth, it seems like it did more damage to other people than him. Um, oh, yeah. And I mean, I guess God was mad at the Romans, but the Romans died a long time ago. So, like, that's a <laughs> bit of an overkill grudge there, brother. <laughs> Very Old Testament. Of, character for God, yeah, you know. I don't think I would watch this one again. Uh, I did, you know, I think I watched it a few times when I was younger because our mom watched it a lot in the background. <laughs> I don't think I ever saw it, but. Who knows? I could have been doing something else or something, but yeah. I don't remember any of this. How Maybe. many Ted Ward Lobos would you give this movie? I would give it one. A solid one. It's a watchable movie. It's not good, 
but it's a watchable movie. Out of how out many? of five. Oh, out of five, yeah, one, yeah, that's fair enough. If it's out of ten, I you round up like three or something. Like yeah. yeah, I feel like it's watchable. I've definitely seen worse movies than this, but it's not good. What is below average? Yeah. The last movie I watched before all this was uh, Ginger Dead Man versus Evil Bong. And that was, that got a negative five chuds for me because it was terrible. Like, just absolute dog shit. And I have, I would say it's worse than Bad Moon. This is not in either of those, like, zip codes, but it's not a good movie. <laughs> You can find this podcast at ghostinthemagazine.site. You can find us on Twitter at GITM Podcast. You can find me on Twitter at Nocturnical. You cannot find my Twitter anymore because I deleted that. <laughs> okay. That's all right. That's how Matt is, too. <laughs> okay, bye.